Towing a caravan is an easy business nowadays. Modern engine performance makes light work of the job. And our road network accommodates vehicles much larger than the average leisure trailer. Towing is still a skilled operation, of course, but a painless task for an accomplished driver. But towing is the easy part, for every journey must come to an end. And every journey ends with the same arduous chore, docking the van. At Purple Line, we've been addressing caravanners' problems for a number of years, and especially the docking problem. Our goal was to produce a remotely operated van mover that would render all manoeuvring tasks entirely effortless and safe, regardless of the user's age and gender. At Purple Line we know that many owners are practical people with sufficient mechanical and electrical skill to service and modify their vans themselves. Your local dealer can make the installation, of course, but if you prefer to do it yourself, this program, together with the user manual, is your step-by-step -step guide. Unpack all the components and check that the contents are complete. The task is to install Purple Line's van mover. A crossbar will be fitted across the van's width. Electrically powered traction rollers will be fitted at each end of the bar in front of the wheels. Left and right motor units will be mechanically linked by a cross-actuation bar. Purple Line's remotely operated control unit will be installed inside the van and electrical connections will be made through an isolation switch. The first step is to wire the motors. These are shipped with the rollers in the disengaged position. Check both rollers. When fully disengaged, only three millimeters of yellow label will be visible. The motors have positive and negative symbols molded in the weatherproof terminal covers. And the motor cables have numbered markers factory fitted. Please refer to the wiring diagram in your user manual. Connect the spade connectors to the motors. Tying back the cables onto the motor housing ensures that there will be no strain on the connections during transit. With the motors now wired, installation can begin. This installation is being demonstrated by a professional engineer using all the benefits of a fully equipped workshop. In the case of a DIY installation, appropriate measures must be taken to protect the installer from injury and the unit from accidental damage. A lifting ramp or an assembly pit is ideal for access and personal safety. At the very least, a hard, level working surface is essential. And in any DIY situation, a two-man team is highly recommended. Clean down those areas of the chassis where components are to be mounted and check that the function of the mover will not be impeded by drains, shock absorbers, the spare tire or any other fixtures. Position the main crossbar underneath the caravan and slide each motor assembly onto the bar. The motors are heavy, so be careful when handling 
positioning and supporting the assembly whilst it is not secured to the chassis. Loosely fit the two clamping assemblies to the chassis. Use the bolts provided. Again, nuts must be no more than finger tight. The cross actuation bar is a telescopic shaft in three segments two end segments and a middle segment. The end segments are fitted to the motor units. And the middle segment locks both ends together. The nuts and bolts are factory fitted. Make sure that the main crossbar and the cross actuation center bar are centrally positioned. The center of the bar is marked. With the main assembly now loosely fitted, slide it along the chassis until the rollers are 30 millimeters from the center of the tires. Two 30 millimeter spacers are provided. It is very important that each roller applies equal traction, left and right, to each wheel. Slide the motor units on the crossbar, in or out, so that both rollers will make maximum contact with the tire's treads. Take care that the plastic chain guards have an adequate separation from the inner walls of the tires. Before fully tightening the bolts, it's necessary to make one final check the gap between the rollers and the tires, 30 mil. Now tighten the nuts to a torque setting of 40 foot-pounds. The four on the main crossbar and the four on the cross actuation bar. Finally, the stop blocks must be fitted. These prevent the unit from sliding along the chassis. Stop blocks are fitted two on each side, in front of and behind the clamping assemblies. The mechanical components have now been fitted. The electrical components can now be installed. First, make sure that all power is disconnected. The 12 volt battery power and any mains electricity.